So it's been 20 days since I made my last video and I must say the market has gone full on wrecked. I mean, even I did not expect the numbers to look this bad for Pulse Chain holders as we do right now. And if I look at the price, right, the price right now is 0 0.000057. So that it's trading at about uh, almost 50% less than it's than the sacrifice price. And that is, no. I, I would say that if you look at during the sac, uh, sac phase, no one would have anticipated that we would have numbers this low. And this really changes the perspective of how I look at this bull run and what my expectations are. Now, I still do expect Pulse Chain to at some point have good price performance, but uh, my expectations are nowhere near what they used to be. Because uh, what we see is that the all-time high, according to coin market cap, is 0. 0.00028, uh, no, uh, 32, right? That's a 3.2x from SAC price. And I must say, for us to get that number, that's almost 4x your money. So for every thousand, you're getting 4,000. And those numbers are not as attractive as crypto used to be. Now, I say used to be for a reason, because the the day of the 100x, the 1,000x are, are gone. Those days are gone. Now, there's two ways to make money in crypto right now. You can either search for those 100x's and by investing in the new coin, the lower cap coins, but this is high risk. And I would suggest, I would say that this probably has a 99% failure rate because these tokens that are trying out to be the next big thing are popping up every single minute. Every single minute, there's a new one coming up that wants to be the next thing that does a thousand X. So the risk here is extraordinarily much higher than it has ever been in the crypto space. Right. So for those 100 X, 1000 X, I don't look at it as a much as a realistic option right now. Now, it is possible to get it if you want to really dig deep and spend 24 hours looking for that next altcoin, looking for the edge, trying to analyze what's working, what's not. That's extremely tedious work. And even after doing all of that, you could chances of, of success are still very, very slim. So I think that the best bet right now to play is that those small gains that are coming up is to play those small games gains. So even at Pulse Chain. If it is like it is possible that the all time high becomes the top of the cycle, so it is possible that Pulse Chain only hits 0 0.00032 or it gets back to or it surpasses that and 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 hits like 0 0.005, uh, which is a 5x from SAC price, right? That is very, very possible. Now, if you're looking at it from where we are right now, if a 5x from a SAC price is a 10x from where we are right now, so it is there is some gains that are to be had there. If, if if those numbers pan out but we've seen a lot of resistance to the upside so for me personally i'm looking at the top of where we hit I, i'm looking for us to smash the previous all-time high and i'm looking at that being the uh potentially that being the top and that's how i'm looking at it now if you were to look at it and say that well maybe so ethereum is better ethereum still will not get those gains i don't see ethereum really pumping that hard so I don't think you get them. So I do think that Pulse Chain will outperform Ethereum, but I don't think we're going to have explosive gains. Now, the best strategy in my view right now is definitely to accept those small gains and just dollar cost average so that you've got a bigger investment. So you've got a bigger position and so that a 5X is not too little for you. Because obviously, with $1,000, a 5X is 5 grand. That's absolutely nothing, right? But with 10 grand, a 5X is 50 grand. That's a lot better, right? Uh, with with twenty grand, five uh, x is hundred grand. That's a lot better. So now the way that I'm looking at the market is that uh, get those small gains. And the bottom, the truth of the matter is that we will always get diminished gains in the market. That's how it will always be. And if you're going to to zoom out and say ten years from now, uh, we probably will be looking at gains like the stock market type of gains, where we're like, oh my God, we're up one percent. Great, right? That will, and we will start celebrating that. But uh, from where we are right now, the way that I'm looking at the market is exactly in that way. That I don't see those explosive gains happening for Pulse and the amount of resistance that we're seeing, right? And because I can already tell you someone is going to be like, um, well, you don't know what you're talking about. This is going to explode and uh, weak hands are getting shaken out, right? Someone might think that. But then ask yourself this, right? If, if that position is true, if, if all that position is true, who keeps dumping then? It's the same people who are telling you that you don't know what you're talking about. Price will go up. They're the ones that are dumping and they're the ones that will also keep promising that we're going to smash those previous all-time highs and we're going to surpass them and then everyone's going to, uh, going to melt everyone's faces. But all in all, I think that uh, the the excitement might just be there. We might be in for just a 5x uh, or a 10x. That might, that, 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 that might exactly be what those super gains are. And so we've got a lot of... Uh, that way, there's a lot of people dumping the price and there's a lot of people also who, because what we've had, Richard Hart, uh, at some point, 
buying up or at least while it's connected to him buying up and really increasing the price but we've seen people just sell into that position right people use that as exit liquidity that's what we've seen in the market and so we can talk all we want but at some point i think people have to be objective and look at the facts and say what exactly is happening and how can i make the best out of this run and sometimes the best is a 5x and sometimes when you say that no that's not good enough for me you end up getting wrecked so all in all anyone wants to do whichever strategy they want that's great but i think that uh, i will ride the small gains that we get in this run i don't i don't see the huge gains that we've seen before I think diminished gains are always part of the game. Uh, if you're talking with Bitcoin, you're probably talking at 2x. If you're talking Ethereum, we might not touch $10,000. Uh, if you're talking Pulse Chain, yeah, we might just, we, the high might be 5x. So that's how I'm looking at the market. Let me know what you think about it. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And uh, what are your reasons for that, right? Because that's the one thing that you've got to really think about that. What are my reasons for, for disagreeing? And uh, is it just because past performance is what you're relying on? Because another thing that we've got to look at is that, look, the, the amount of money there is now a lot bigger. So to drive price up is a lot harder, right? It's a lot, lot, lot harder. You know, when the asset is smaller, yes, it's easy to pump 100x, 1,000x. But when the asset is big, it's billions of dollars of market cap. It is a hard, harder thing to pump. Because now you cannot just onboard someone with, uh, with 100 grand and get great price performance. Now you need to onboard people who are pouring millions and millions of dollars into this. Anyway. That's that. Uh, anyway, and, and so there's a few things that has happened as well since I haven't made a video. There is a story of um, uh, CZ got his sentence four months. And I thought that, that that sounds like a sweetheart deal, right? I mean, from judging from what we were hearing, people talking about four months seems like a sweetheart deal, meaning that he's going he's gonna to be back in crypto very, very soon. And also, Roger Ver got arrested. Another story that I saw a few days ago. And that one really is one of those stories that uh, I, I see a lot of people... Uh, doing what I what Roger Ver did a lot. Roger Ver was one of the early Bitcoiners. He promoted Bitcoin very uh, a lot, but one of the things that he did a lot is also go after powerful people in government, go after politicians who have power. And I've I've seen that enough times to know that it it's not always a good idea. I know people will say that well, look, freedom of speech, you can say what you want, and then start calling Gary Gensler or other people with powers names, and and doing all sorts of stuff. And obviously, my perspective is skewed because I did uh, freedom of speech was never a thing, <laughs> at least uh, to the extent that it is in 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 in, in most Western countries. But uh, even in Western countries, I am starting to see that uh, sometimes insulting powerful people is not a wise idea because they're going after him now. Now maybe he they're going after him for tax tax some tax issues. Now maybe he didn't completely. Uh, pay every single cent of tax, right? Maybe he made a mistake here or there. But the thing is that uh, most things, if you do make a mistake, they're most of the times they're very lenient and then they find a way to make, you do, make it right. But if you have a history of having had problems with the authorities, they might not be so, so forgiving. But the way that they've treated crypto people so far, I think has been kind of, I'm talking about the, the US authorities, has, hasn't been uh, as bad, right? I mean, CZ got a good deal and... Uh, BitMEX uh, found out he got a good deal too, right? Because his fee, he, all the troubles that he did, they're all finished. So, the, so some people do get good deals, but I uh, will see how it works out for for for, for Roger Ver. Anyway, all in all, these are my thoughts in regards to what's happening with Pulse Chain, the market, and all that stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.